want to ask you a few questions. Ask me anything you want. How'd you get that scar on your face? I refer to that as my birthmark. On my eighth birthday, my father brought me a bulldog. A fat little bulldog. I named him Prince Henry Stout. He was strong. He would chase my pet turkey. He would chase the squirrels up the tree. I trained him. I raised him. I fed him. I groomed him. I took care of him. I love that dog. I love that dog. More than anything in the world, I love that dog. My father came to me with a pocket full of cherry bombs and M80s and said, you're going to train this dog to be a protector. So, every Saturday afternoon, I got behind this little dummy that my dad built, and I tossed these cherry bombs and M80s at the dog. Boom! Boom! Now, the dog was scared at first, but after a while, he would get angry and come at the dummy like, Row! he would get the dummy and rip it apart. Head was gone, shirt was torn. So, 13 years old, birthday time. I got me a 12 gauge shotgun. We're going hunting. I was so excited. We go out in this clearing in the woods. My dad lays his gun down. He takes my gun, lays it down. He looks at me and says, son, today you're going to learn to control your emotions. You're going to do things that some men are unwilling and unable to do. Follow me. I follow my dad around this little clump of trees and there's a little corral built. And there's Prince Henry Stout, chained in the middle of the corral. My dad takes out a pocket full of cherry bombs. He puts them in my hand and says, get in the corral. Here's a lighter. I want you to light those cherry bombs and throw them at the prince. You're going to face manhood. You're going to fight that dog to the death. He's going to kill you, or you're going to kill him. He was on me. He was on me like flies on shit. I had no chance. I got my arm up between his teeth and my neck. Boom! Down in the mud. Roll over. Roll over. And that dog is fighting and biting and kicking and scratching. And I'm screaming and crying. I'm grabbing around the head as I stand up and uh, fall down with my weight on him. I hear his neck break. He's dead. He's not biting, he's not yelping, and I'm covered with blood. I stand up, I wipe the blood off, I lick it, and my father says, welcome to manhood. That's why I call this my birthmark.